Oh yeah, she owned it, Bando. Yeah, get this mall cop out of here. I am gonna go ahead and, and read my decision here, and uh, and then we'll. Oh, yeah, just die if he's my prisoner. Hey, I understand. Uh, the misdeed of the convicted speak volumes about his character, uh, the deed sense, um, his recapture and purported desire to make choices, also seem genuine to this court. Uh, Mr. Levy is indeed a violent felon, and chiefly, the accessory to multiple capital murders. He should be shown very little deference as well. per the state's request. In, in that respect, the court does have a tendency to agree. Uh, Ms. Knight aptly pointed to my own previous words. Um, and just as those words were true then, these words are true now. Um, the letter of the law is important, but the spirit of the law is also essential to what we do here in the courtroom. Um, if the court doesn't show grace in an instance where it might remedy the situation, then it becomes complicit in the cycle of violence and recidivism. Um, the court hereby, based on all of this, denies the petitioner's request for a more lax parole terms um, and community service. Uh, the court recognizes the state in their arguments in favor of extending the uh, levy sentence, but the court will be denying that. The court feels this instance is a complicated one. It's been a heartbreaking experience for many people, and hopefully now we can begin to mend and move on um, because the court chooses not to let this cycle persist. And uh, I will be allowing Mr. Levy to leave here today with the aforementioned parole terms, and if they were broken, he'll be sent back for one and a half years. Court is adjourned. Please have him released. Yeah! <laughs> yes, Thank you, Your Honor. That's not my Hell yeah, dude. Can I get uncuffed from this table, please? Shimmy. Shimmy, Shimmy, I just want to say I know where no, that no, song baby. was from, and I'm disappointed. Can you uh can you uncuff me from the table?